What is going on everyone? James the Third and Bass Layers out in the bait room again today and what I am doing today is showing you guys how to make some tails out of paintbrushes or baits. It's a pretty easy uh, way to do this that I've come up with myself and uh, what it consists of is some paintbrushes. Went to the dollar store and got some dollar store paintbrushes. Gonna need some clips. Um, I made a little jig depending on how you want to uh, make these. I made this little jig to hold the bristles. I'll show you how I do this in a second. Took a paint stick, well a couple paint sticks and I cut them in half so I could have something to place the bristles in between and you pinch it together. So what I'll do here I'll take the bristles and I'll put them inside here. I'll get them lined up. And once I get it lined up, usually I'll set it like this when I do it. I'll set it like this. I'll get the bristles lined up how I want them. And I'll pinch the two pieces together. And I'll put the clips on it. And then hold it up like this. And put the epoxy on it and show you how I do that. And then after it's epoxied, you can come back and you can cut it on the end to make this part nice and flat and straight, like I've done on these. Try to make them nice and flat so when they sit inside the bait, it sits in there nice. And then another trick that I've done is I use braided scissors to cut the bristles right here to snip these. It's like, I mean... You can't really cut these bristles with regular scissors. You can, but it's a pain in the butt. If you get yourself some braided scissors, these are some Gerber scissors, and uh, it will it will cut the strands really easy. I'll give you a little example here. It just snips right on through those strands really easy. Regular pair of Fisker scissors. I mean, it cuts through, but it's a little bit harder. So braided scissors work a little bit better, but these will work. Next thing you need is I got some BSI, Bob Smith Industry, uh, two-ton epoxy, and a little lid, and a little mixer. I'll put a little bit of this in here, and I'll mix it up, and I'll use that to put on here. And I'll show you guys how I do all this. All right, guys, so when I started doing these, you start tearing these uh, paintbrushes apart, the bristles, they, they go all over the place and it's so hard to keep them together and there's no real way to do it. So what I did was I made this little jig here out of some uh, manila folder. And what I'll do is I'll just go along, grab about what I think is right for a tail. It takes a little bit of practice to get the right amount in there. And what you're going to want to do is take all this stuff that's on the bottom and knock it off it's the old glue just kind of do this and try to hold it all together any of the pieces that fall out you can stick right back in the jig I'll show you I do this to get all that old glue off of there so you get a nice bond here with the uh, 220 epoxy so take those and just set them in the jig here Now do it with the white tips sticking out so you have those white tips on the end of the uh, tail. Alright, now that we have it at this point, what we're going to do here is take the second piece of stick and lay it right over top of this. Try not to move anything. Once in a while, you can come back and you can kind of do that and it'll fix it it'll get it right back to where it needs to go now this is the tough part and the hardest part is I got to take these clips and I got to put it on here without messing anything up or moving any of this put pressure on it hold it I've dropped a few of these so it's a pain in the butt and then once you drop all the bristles it's even worse and that's why I made this jig so I can just throw them back in there and then 
put this thing up. The other thing I'll do as I'm doing this, you can see some of them want to fall out, is I'll kind of take my finger once again and I'll go along and I'll kind of flatten them out and get them all nice. Now that I have it like this, I can come in with my 220 epoxy and I can throw some epoxy on this guy. I can move it around a little bit if I need to and uh, show you guys how I do that. Take a little stick to stir it with. Just use these old beer cap lids and six packs of beer so I don't have to buy little cups or anything try to reuse and recycle as much stuff around here as we can save money I've got this mixed up I just take some kind of like a paintbrush get the stick all loaded up with it just come in here just gonna wipe straight out with it. Make an imaginary line or a line. I know just about how deep these tails go in on all my baits. So make a little line right there. Any spots that are like this, it'll all get filled in with the epoxy and it'll all hold together. As I'm doing this sometimes, I will work the bristles back and forth like this it gets the uh, epoxy down in between those bristles and holds them all together or I'll do this I was doing this one last night just kind of accordion it and it will uh, it'll get that stuff down in there in between those bristles and it'll really 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 hold Anyway, that's basically it. I will come back and uh, pop this thing apart and cut the back of it once it's dry. Alrighty, so this guy is dry. What we'll do is we'll pop these clips off. We'll take this out. It's all nice and dry. can handle it. What I do is I take my braided scissors here and just come in. Halfway. It's hard to get a nice straight cut with those regular scissors. These braided scissors just trap right through it. There you have it. Quick and easy way to make some tails. And uh, these guys are nice and straight. Pretty solid. The uh, two ton epoxy really is just to hold it together until you get it into the bait and epoxy it in the spot where you need it to go. So, anyways, that was just a quick little tutorial on how to make these tails and uh, now I can finish this up uh, I gotta clip this off and make it a little bit flatter right here that's alright this will all get epoxy around it when it gets put into where it's going and it will all be connected in one piece so anyways thanks for watching guys Herm Bass Layers